Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a full face of first impressions and this is what it looks like. Let me tell you, I am very, very impressed by all these products and I am loving this look. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I upload. Now let's get started with the tutorial. I'm going to start off with my brows for this full face of first impressions and this one is just a new color that I'm using. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. I think most of you have used the Brow Wiz before. It's amazing. So far I like the shade. It fits perfectly with my hair color right now. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer in the shade 1N. And now I'm just going to set it with the bone shade here. This is Anastasia Fresh all the way to the brow bone, okay? For eyeshadow, I'm using the Dose of Colors Marvelous Moths. I got this at Ulta. I'm going to start off with this shade right here, the third one. Ooh, a lot of fallout. So they're very pigmented. Make sure you have a light hand. And start blending. I've never tried Dose of Colors eyeshadows. I've only tried her liquid lipsticks and they are amazing. Build the intensity of this. They blend out so easily. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and take the lightest shade, the one next to it, and then blend that out. And then I'm gonna use this shade right here. And that's going to go on the outer corner. I'm going to add a little bit more darkness with the last shade here. Let's see if it will be darker here. Oh yeah, definitely better. Gosh, the difference between these and the MAC one, way better. Definitely worth it. Now I'm going to take a glitter eyeshadow. This is from Stila and it's in the shade Kid and Karma. And I got this at Sephora recently in the inner corner. Oh, halfway. How about halfway? And a little bit above my crease. I am done with the eyes for now. Now I'm going to jump right into the face. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. That is what it looks like. And everyone loves this primer. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face. It gives you a nice sheen. Ooh, it's, it smells so nice. It smells very clean. A little bit on my forehead. Just a tad bit. Watch out for the brows. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It is in the shade Vanilla. And I've been dying to try this, but I just never got the chance to doing a review. So, might as well do it now. And this is what it looks like. So, this is obviously matte, and you guys know that my skin is more on the dry side. So, hopefully it works out and it gives me a matte finish. Because I don't usually like the dewy finishes all the time. I kind of like go back and forth. But... This says it's oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil-controlling, and photo-friendly. So, that is great for me. 
Ooh, I like the shade. It's not too light. It's not full coverage. Looking at it right now. It didn't cover all the way, as you can see. You can still see my pimple. So what I'm going to do is let it sit for a little bit, let it dry, and then I'll go in with another layer. For concealer, I'm using the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade 1. Let's highlight under the eye. Damn. That color though. So this feels thick, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything. And the coverage is definitely there. It reminds me of the Shape Tape by Tarte. It oxidizes a little bit, as you can see. Gonna put a little bit here down my nose to highlight. As you can see, I applied this side first and it's getting a little bit darker, and then this one is still light because it's still drying. I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, and this is the original. My coworker likes this powder. Um, we do carry Derma Blend, but I never like tried it before. I don't know why. I was just probably afraid because it was too white, and I was afraid it was gonna give me flashback. I still don't know if it's gonna give me flashback, but. I will see once I take pictures. I'm so excited for this bronzer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer and Saddle. I have been dying to try this bronzer out. It looks pretty dark, but I'm just gonna like press really lightly. This brush is also really great to contour. This is the Morphe M437. So just in case you guys want to contour with your Hoola bronzer or this bronzer, whichever one you have. Ooh, this shade is popping. Look at that and look how effortlessly it blends. Like literally, literally, can you do this to me? One more time on the other side. And this is only $28, and you get this big pan. I am not kidding. This is totally worth it. Now for setting spray, I'm going to use this lavender setting spray by Mario Badescu. I've never tried this before. I think I've only tried the pink one a long time ago. I didn't like it, but let's see how this works. I like it. It's just that there's big droplets all over me. The MAC Fix Plus doesn't do that. This one. For highlighter, I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlight. I don't think it's available anywhere anymore with my Morphe M501 brush. And finally use this baby. I've been dying to try it. Whoa. That looks amazeball. Look at that. It looks like it's melting on your skin. Like it doesn't look textured or anything. Now for blush, I'm gonna use this palette right here. This is so pretty. This is, I picked it up like, a, I think last week. This is the Blush Bar by Benefit. So you get the Hoola, you get the California, the new one Gold Rush, Rocketeur, and Dandelion. Dandy Lion. <laughs> Today I'm gonna go with the new one. I'm gonna use the Gold Rush color. Ooh, that's pretty. This is like very natural. It's not too corally, it's not too pink. Today has been very successful with all these first impressions, I must say. 
I'm gonna use these Kiss Lashes, the Blowout Lash in Pompadour. I like how it gets fuller on the outside. And I like that they're not hiding my eyeshadow look. Now I'm gonna do the lower lash line and I'm gonna go back to the eyeshadow palette. I think I'm gonna use this shade here. I'm using a new lip shade. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Holy Chick. So now for my favorite products of this tutorial and the standout products. I'm going to have to give it to this highlighter right here. This is the Amrezy Highlight by Anastasia and it was amazing. It's just to die for as you can see. It is glowing, glowing everywhere the formula is amazing really smooth and it doesn't leave you cakey and it doesn't leave you patchy either another standout product was this bronzer by anastasia as well this is in the shade saddle so if you're gonna pick this up make sure you get the shade saddle it's just amazing as you can see my bronzer is on fleek today and it was because of this bronzer right here i couldn't forget the eyeshadows Nothing like the MAC shadows, they couldn't blend on me, but these were blending amazingly. And the pigment is definitely there. I didn't use this shade, but I used everything else. And let me tell you, they're all amazing. Oh, and then I almost forgot about my concealer. Definitely a go-to right here. This is the KKW Beauty Concealer. And it's only $18 compared to other ones, like my Becca one. This one was $29, I believe. This one is definitely better than this one, but you know, I only use this one as an eyeshadow primer, but in my other videos that I film, I'll probably use it under my eye, even though it's not going to highlight as much as this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Definitely check out those products that I recommended and let me know if you already use them in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.